Ain't like we been someplace. We always been here. Say, say, Ricky, close Kato. I'll give you a little few shell. So watch, right? I see a lot of people when they show the hole, they show the hole on the middle. Don't show the hole in the middle. Two things. Don't show the wall on the middle, the middle meeting straight up and down. And don't show the wall and waste it on the jab. Don't show the wall on the jab. You just waste the wall. Okay? So, I'm gonna jab, he's gonna carry. He's gonna do a mistake and show the wall in the middle. Just for a minute. And he's gonna waste the shoulder wall on the jab. Fall straight back. He goes straight back. If I'm coming with that force, he's right there for me. That's why you don't show the wall in the middle, right? If you're going to show the wall your force, having a jab, he's going to show the wall, he's going to slip at the same time he slips, he's going to show the wall and slip. So if I'm coming for the straight jab and force down the middle, and he shoulder the wall and slips at the same time, he shows the wall and slips, I'm overextended, okay? And watch, he's setting a trap for me. You understand? His hand is over here. I got no choice but for this hand, either hook him here or cross him here. All he has to do is clear that rhyme. And that's it. So his head is setting a trap on that slip shoulder wall. You can't do that if your weight is all the way do the wall slip with me, the wall roll I mean. His weight is all the way back here. He's straight on. You know, and, and I'm good. I'm, I feel comfortable right now. But if he shoulder rolls, I'm the attacker, and he shoulder rolls on the three, I overextend it. Now, I'm going to hit him where his head is, because I see an opening. That's a trap. Go with it. Right there. That's one thing. The next thing we go to work, watch. He's gonna carry, he's gonna roll. I'm gonna try and come with the hook. Right, when I come with the hook, he is gonna, he can do two things. He, if he wants to stay protected, he can stay shelled up. Go back to the He can stay shelled up, stay there, and just raise his hand. Just raise his hand. Don't even turn, don't even turn. Like I said, he's still protected. All he did was took his hand in, raised it. Or he can set me up. As he raises his hand, he turns his whole body. Now I'm like, oh, his face is right there. Free lunch. No. Check. You understand? So again, the head is setting the traps. The head is setting the traps. Again. And that's the importance of rolling on the slip, slip rolling. Because his head is setting the trap. When he turns back to me square, his head is setting the trap. So again, pop, he slips. I'm like, oh, I'm going to hook his head up so he turns to me. Oh, he gave me that full face. I'm going to come and I'm going to smash his face with my horse. Pop, check on the horse. All right? I'm going to give you one more thing. He's going to, he's going to check on. He's going to slip. Come with the hook, he blocks. I come, he's gonna five, he's gonna slip, cross. And from there, it's gonna shuffle with the shuffle. Watch again. We're gonna go slow first. And some people say we go too fast. You do know in YouTube, you can, you can go over to the lower part, the lower corner, and slow it down, right? Come right here, come right here. So watch again. Slow. We're gonna go slow motion. Harry, slip roll. Come back to me. Oh, look, he opened this up up, so I think he's oh, trapping me. Boom. Slow the show. Beep, slow the show. Shop for all. Can you have it? Can you grab some of the ads? All right. So this is some. This is some. Some ways you can work the shell. But please do not shoulder roll 
Don't waste your roll on a jab. That's a wasted roll. Tag that jab. Tag the jab. Or slip the jab. You can right here in, 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 in shell and you can slip the jab. You feel me? Or, or what you should be doing is carry it. And when the course comes, roll it. Look at my foot position when I roll. Slightly bent. And look, look at my elbow position, protecting my kidney. I, I'm here, some of you cats roll like this. And leave all of this open. I see a lot of professional cats roll like that. Every time you roll, watch this elbow. Watch the elbow when I roll. Always project that elbow back, protecting the slime. My head is over here, setting the trap. If I come back, I square it up, I'm setting the trap. He thinks I'm open, but no, as he comes with his attack, I can bob, weave, and catch it. Boom. So these are just ways you can refine the Philly shell. And, yes. And also, you should not be doing the Philly shell unless you have your boxing basics. If your boxing basics ain't in order, don't even think about the shell. It ain't for you. Fundamentals, very much based off of reflexes, good eye, good timing, good range control. So yes, fundamentals is needed. It's not an easy as well. Uh, sensei is pretty fast for old men. And, but at the same time, take the responsibility to be defensively responsible as well as offensively responsible. Don't take, don't rush and start firing off in the middle of this because you will get hurt. So take your time and develop this using a heavy bag, working with a coach. You want to come to John's Boxing Gym and work with us? No John's Boxing Gym, baby. Come to John's Boxing Gym, D train or the four train. John's Boxing Gym, we here. And you can see I'm the type of coach I get in there and sweat with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of times we be in here working so viciously that we get a crowd of people over coming around us and we just work it. So, IBS, integrated boxing system, hit and not get hit, powerful, defensive, and technical. And we literally mean that. Yes, head movement be on point. Head movement, footwork, everything has to be on point. Before I let you even get in the ring and spar, you gotta be on point. Your footwork gotta be on point. Yeah, we go over footwork crazy, crazy. A lot of footwork, a lot of head movement. You do need to have a high amount of cardio, endurance, and stamina. Yes. This is not for the week. This is not for the week. All right. So, boxing is life. Life is boxing. Learn how to fight people.